Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. This is the part two of my La Bouche Rouge video after their big makeup launch. So today we're tackling two more eyeshadow quads. We've got a new lip pencil. We've got two eyeshadow brushes. We've got some things to talk about. I'm gonna use one of the eyeshadows in a fun way. So we're gonna dig into that, talk, try everything on, swatch. If you wanna see how this face came together and what this insanely cool thing is on my head just keep watching and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i appreciate it when you do now let's jump in okay guys so if you've been following my channel you know how i feel about la bouche rouge and so i'm super excited to bring you part two of my la bouche rouge huge makeup launch uh release that they did a couple of months ago. Before I begin, I have to talk to you about my Breezy Tea product of the day, which is one that excites me to no end. This is another one of our Silk Twill Skinny Scarves that I absolutely adore. Now, we designed these ourselves. This is our African-inspired print. All of our Silk Twill printed headbands or scarves, um, because you can wear it on your neck, your wrists, your wherever you want to wear it. You can get on your bag. You can get fancy with them. All of them are double-sided. So at some point in the video, I will switch it to the other side. So this one is black and white. Again, we did design these ourselves. My husband is a designer by education, and that was his career. And so, and and um, this is my first time designing. So it's just been such an awesome experience to kind of get what's in my head down in the computer and then see it translated to this silk fabric has been so incredibly rewarding and yeah love them you can wear them different ways like i said um i usually have my hair up i wanted to let it out today my hair is growing so i wanted to try it a new way and it works beautifully so this is our african inspired print and it is made of silk twill if you're not familiar with silk twill silk twill is pretty much the standard in luxury for hair accessories with all the um the large fashion houses that we know and love around the world so we wanted to take that beautiful, luxurious step as well. And these are all made from silk twill. And soon we're gonna have our um, solid color silk twill skinny scarves coming out for you, okay? So if you wanna check these out, just visit us at breezytea.com. And you can find all the links where you can find me, everything that's on my face, all that stuff will be down below. Now let's jump into this LaBouche Rouge video. Okay, so full transparency, this is the second time I'm having to shoot this video, so it won't be a true first impressions, but it'll be the first time I'm sharing it with you guys. So I've gone ahead, I have on my LaBouche Rouge um, bronzer in Intense, okay? And I have on what is my favorite highlighter of the moment from LaBouche Rouge. A la Lumiere. Now, if you have not seen part one of my video after this one, go check out part one because I'm breaking down two different bronzers, the highlighter, the face brushes, um, the mascara, the eye pencil. So we have a lot going on in the first video. I've covered all that and um, I'm wearing them again today, but yeah, I needed to point that out. I've had time with it and this is absolutely my favorite highlighter of the moment and I'm loving these bronzers, I just am. So first we're going to take something that we did before, uh, that we used before, which was the um, Chilwa. This was the, this is the eyeshadow I featured in the first video. Chilwa and I'm going to use it, this is gonna be tricky, this big old brush, this is their, their um, powder brush. I'm going to tap it try to just get the um, more fuchsia color and get this on my cheeks. See how pigmented that is? Don't be afraid. I'll work it out. Okay, and just like that, I brought some life to my cheeks. 
I'm that's the great thing about clean beauty is that I don't have to worry about don't put this too close to the eyes don't do this don't do that everything is safe wherever you want to put it on the face and until they come out with their blushes I think it's a a beautiful compromise to find a color and their big old fluffy uh, powder brush worked perfectly and to dip it I did I was able to just get the one color and it feels so soft and the highlighter wasn't disturbed but it brought it brought life to my cheeks okay so first up we have Aral and again in my first video I explained to you all about the how these things come I'll reiterate this part though um, so this is the camel leather case uh, that the compact comes in now the compact is separate from the actual powder okay the powders come in a paper in paper packaging which I absolutely love so smart and then you buy the compact now each one of these compacts comes with a leather case so those are sold together but you will choose which color you want I also have um, the black I have the chocolate brown. So for this one, I went with the camel. Camel leather to me is just classic and I've always, chic, I've always loved camel leather. So this is Aral, okay? They call this an iridescent purple harmony, okay? So there are different shades of purple. I'll swatch this for you in a second. And just a reminder that Le Bouche Rouge is a brand out of France and they are a clean beauty brand and not like a, you know, a cutesy new, we're gonna add a couple of clean ingredients. They truly live their philosophy. They are a clean beauty brand. They are a sustainable brand and they are, I mean, they mean it. They are a truly sustainable brand from not having any microplastics in any of the things that they sell to just, there's just, they're doing a lot. Donating to initiatives. They're serious about helping the earth in any way they can. Just, just a reminder about the names. Again, I mentioned this in the first video. One of the ways that Le Bouche Rouge is bringing um, attention to uh, earth, the earth and things that we, we need to be doing to make it healthier, they named each of the eyeshadows after a body of water that has seen better days. And this one, Aral, is named after a the sea, a sea that was once was, that has now dried up. So it's a, it's a really clever way for me to just get people thinking without being like, you gotta do, okay? So hopefully you hear the names, you do a little research and find out what, what they're about. So I'm gonna swatch this and then we're gonna get it on my eyes. So here is Aral swatched. So stinking pretty. It, they are the most beautiful shades of purple and plum and like a Bordeaux. I love this color story. I really, really love this color story. I've said it before, while I, well, pink has a place and I'm going to try out their pink uh, Sultan, um, probably for spring. This is more my, if I'm gonna do more typically feminine colors, I like what purple does more than pink, although there's always a place for pink. So this is just really, really beautiful. They swatch like absolute butter. They are so smooth and just so pigmented. And I mentioned that in my first video, I was so pleasantly surprised by just how pigmented these are. Now this one has a satin finish at all, this, um, this palette. And it's so funny because in the palette, you don't know that you're going to really get these plummy, purpley colors. So it's a, it's a really beautiful surprise. So don't be alarmed in the pan. It, it leans to me more brown, but once it's swatched, the colors really do come alive and you get to see more of that, you know, purple, plummy, what they're going for. Okay, so this one is the blender brush, a beautiful brush, and it says La Bouche Rouge here and then here is the shader brush so this one's a little not a little a lot a fluffier one same thing beautiful made of beechwood and made in osaka japan um in tradition with the kazen 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 calligraphy okay and here are all four brushes together so here are the two face brushes that they have out now and then the two eye brushes that they have out beautiful 
uh, vegan fibers and beech wood. Okay, so we're gonna use these two brushes to get it all on the eyes. Oh, and I wanted to mention a couple of things about the compacts. Once you put them in the compact, there's a mirror already built in. It's part of the the compact, so you can use this part. Uh, at, this is the mirror. Okay, so the mirror here and the packaging says Labouche LBR, their logo right here, as does the, I forgot to show you, I don't, I, well, I did, showed you, I didn't mention it, just to say that the logo is also here in each palette, okay? So that's, we've got our information together. Let's get this on the eye. Let's talk about it. I This is so beautiful to me. This is so beautiful. The plums are just so, the, the shades of purple are just so sophisticated and completely me. Color is fun to play with every now and again, but the two that I'm showing off today, these are the colors that for me are more everyday and for me, I love just a little bit of something on the eye, deeper colors, colors closer to my skin tone, so more neutral. That's just that's just where I naturally lean and I have fun playing with colors, but that's where I naturally lean. So these are so beautiful and just as beautifully as they swatch on the hand, they do on the eyes. I'm going to keep mentioning it, mentioning it because it's an important part of where I am in life. Um, now in my, my 40s, I need products that are gonna work with my skin, not against it. And these absolutely do, just beautiful. I, I don't know how much I can say. I love kind of going from the light color lilac to the deeper colors of the um, shadow. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll connect all this in a second with the mascara and kind of bring it all together. But this is Aral. Let's get to Tej. So just for the tutorial's purpose, I took something out of another case. So this is what it looks like empty, okay? So we're just gonna take Tej. All you do, there's a little slot here, you pop it out, okay? Like this, and you just easily and quickly, it's magnetic, just pop it right into place, okay? Popped into place, and here we have Tej. Okay, so here we have the Tej swatches, okay? Again, they're matte. The first one is tricky because it's literally like my skin color, so it kind of blends in. And this is, my, this is my color story. I love beiges, browns, all that on brown skin because it's nudes for us. So I love just that bare, there, almost there kind of look going on on brown skin. So I love these for whether it's traveling or or just days that you just want a little oomph, just a little bit of oomph. Oh, did you just wake up like that? Yes, yes I did. I always look this fabulous. It's that, it, these are those kinds of shades, okay? Completely love them. Here they are against Aral. So Aral has the more purple story and is uh, satin. And here we have um, Tej. Now, Tej River, Tej Tagus in French, Tej. Um, is the largest river on the Iberian Peninsula, a peninsula I'm quite, uh, I'm quite uh, not fond of. <laughs> I'm quite connected to, there we go. When I first moved to Europe, I did move to Barcelona in Spain. I then moved to Portugal. I moved back to Spain. We moved to Granada in Andalusia. And then I'm, I'm back in Portugal for now. And my ultimate plan would be to, to end up in 
Spain close to Barcelona because it just it stole my heart and we'll get into that I'll probably tell that story again in another video. I did it before but it was a while ago So I'll probably tell that story. Um, so it's it was named after it Because of global warming it is starting to deplete Okay, so another really clever way again really clever way to kind of bring attention to these things without wagging their finger however the state that this the earth is in it is my opinion that wagging of the finger is now necessary because of what we've done to the earth but that's a something for another day okay so Tej Matt and I want to talk to you about the um, ingredients because that's the thing with these these clean beauty brands that's really to me the biggest draw there is hyaluronic acid in these uh, eyeshadows there's rice powder there's responsible mica there's shea butter so that explains to you why it's so smooth to swatch and why it's so gentle on the eyes those ingredients really do come through and they leave you with the most beautiful beautiful finish on the eyes let's get into this let's put Tej on this eye Okay, like I said, I, I love this color story. It just, I think this is so beautiful. And again, the, the um, as a matte, they gave me no issues. I always judge eyeshadows from a brand really by their mattes because I think they're harder to get right. And these are beautiful, super smooth, no problem going on. Again, I happen to like this nudie eye look on my skin. These are like, perfectly suitable to give me a nude uh, eye look and I love it with a little bit of smoke really really happy with this so pretty you can see the difference the more purple satiny finish here you get that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spare you doing it in real time but I'm gonna put on uh, their Le Bouche Rouge Le Col Noir their black eye pencil they only have one so far I'm expecting more um, and I'm gonna get this on the eye Okay, so I've gone ahead and switched my Breezy Tea uh, Silk Twill scarf around. So you can see the black is more prominent on one side and this side the white is more prominent. Different designs, different things. So like I said, we designed them ourselves and we tried to get, I love this. I think this is so fun. This is so fun and it brings me so much joy when we come out with a new product, especially one that we've designed ourselves, the print ourselves. Um, to see people loving them. So this is the other side of it. Again, you can hit the, uh, the link below to find this specific one and visit us at breezytees.com to see all our silk twill scarves. Okay, so I have completely, listen, man, this, I'm loving the final look. So I've got the uh, mascara that is just an absolute 
stunner. This mascara is so good and I've been asked questions after the first video and one of them was about um, the mascara, if it clumps, if it's flaky, it's none of those things on me. It's not clumpy at all. It elongates and separates beautifully, just beautifully and no drying. It hasn't dried on me. It doesn't get flaky. It doesn't get clumpy. Making this my new uh, first I knew first my new favorite clean mascara absolutely absolutely and let me tell you something what one of the things I love about clean beauty products in general is they're so much easier to take off so things that take me much longer these don't these kind of come off more seamlessly and I appreciate the takedown part of this just as much as putting it on. So that's a really good thing. And I, I just think it's a beautiful mascara, healthy, healthy stuff in there. Again, I break it down in the first uh, video. And then, so this one, Tej, I just think it's a, it's a, the finished product is just beautiful. One of the things I wanted to mention, because it is different browns on brown skin, a lot of time this color story can get really muddy really quickly and everything just looks jumbled up. I can see each, shade on its own which is super important and that is what makes this really really special it looks smooth it doesn't even you can see it's a matte but it's a very smooth matte okay there's still like I said that hyaluronic that shea butter those ingredients are giving this a really smooth nice looking finish and again being able to see all those browns even that light color that blends in with my skin tone, I was able to use it in the brow bone just to open up the eye a little bit. So everything has its place. Beautiful, love it with the liner, just extra smoke uh, look here. Love, love. And just one thing about color stories, if you're wondering, comparing and contrasting to other brands or other colors, listen, there are only so many colors everyone is working with. So I'm, listen, I encourage you, if you're somebody who makes colors up, do that release it to the world and let's see how that goes with you know for you until that happens we're all dealing with the same pool of colors so i don't really enter the debate of it looks like this it looks like that whatever there's always something to compare something else to for me especially with la bouche rouge it's about not just the colors it's the formula it's what they've been able to create with clean beauty formulas with clean formulas it is the sustainability of the products. It is the brand's mission. That's a huge deal for me. My top, top brands right now, probably four out of five of them are clean beauty. And it's it's more, it's more it's about more than just the products. It's about what the brand stands for and how they're showing it. So that to me is important. Have you seen these colors before? Perhaps. I haven't seen it in a clean beauty formula like this, sustainably made, earth friendly and those are all things that are important to me and so that is why I love to sing their praises and support them so just a little bit about the color stories it's not about other ones maybe doing it I don't know that anyone's ever done it like this I haven't seen it so that's where we are awesome awesome eyes let's get to these lips okay before I ordered this second batch of products I got an email for my customer loyalty um, I was offered their lip kit gratis for free and it comes with i've talked about this in another video but let me tell you my lips need you know as much help as they can get it comes with legamage which is their lip scrub and it is the most gentle exfoliation you can get it's so beautiful obviously clean so it comes with this, and again, if you don't know what the bottom of the lipsticks look like, this is what they look like, okay? Because this too can go inside one of the leather cases. So it comes with the scrub, which I absolutely love and have on my lips right now. Um, and then you also get in the kit the serum, Le Serum de Nuit, okay? So to wear in the evenings, to wear overnight, which is the only time my mouth stops moving moving okay that's the only time my lips get a break is when i'm sleeping otherwise i'm typically talking so here is uh the serum okay that it comes with so moisturizing on the lips i cannot tell you not greasy 
not tacky, not anything. It just feels good. It feels nourishing and it feels moisturizing. So I wanted to mention that because it's a lip kit that I absolutely love. And you can find that at the Le Bouche Rouge website. Okay, so they recently came out with, I think, five lip liners. I have um, Brun, the brown uh, lip liner. Let me think, nude Brun, okay? So the nude brown lip liner. And again, no microplastics in the cap. It's quite the achievement, this no microplastic thing. Here is the swatch, okay, for nude brown, nude brown. And I'm hoping they come out with like a chocolate brown because I, you know, I obsess. So these I actually saw at the beginning of last year in pictures. I think it was another thing that COVID uh, pushed back in the beauty world because yeah, I did see it. So it's really smooth, goes really pigmented, goes on easily. I think there's still brow products to come. I know that there are brow products. I don't know when they're gonna come out. Uh, I, the only thing about a sustainable brand and when it's your favorite brand, this is not a quick beauty thing. That's why it's sustainable. This is not fast, quick beauty. So they do uh, quality over quantity for sure. So now that this is out, it's like, oh, I'm gonna miss not trying out new new things, but like I said, I'll try the other eyeshadow palette for spring, and I'm looking forward to the brow products because Lord knows my brows need work, okay? They need work. So really, I could be done with the nude brown on my lips. I love how this looks like this, but I'm going to put on top, and listen, I waited for a year for this to come back in stock. I finally got my chocolate brown uh, lipstick case that I absolutely love. It is magnetic, and it's super easy to take your lipsticks in and, like I said, in and out. Just put it in, snaps in, two seconds. So this is nude brown, nude brun. The lipstick, this was the first lipstick I got from Le Bouche Rouge. So this is actually the matching uh, lip liner for it. So let's get this on the lips. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to shout out Deborah Lipman and these fabulous nails today. I can't stand it. This is called Gone Green. It actually it actually looks black. They describe it as a dark olive with a silver um, with silver flex, I guess, a silver shimmer, and it's it's the bomb. Deborah is a clean uh, nail polish brand. Love 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 her polishes. She has the best brush and it's 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 so good it's so wide and good it gets you in and out but this color is so dope to me so i just wanted to shout out deborah lipman we're doing the clean thing and so her brand is everything so i think this is a perfect end uh, to this video so this is the uh brun nude brun uh pencil on the lip and then the same color lipstick on top and as per usual they're, you know, I have not made the leap into their mats yet. I don't know why. I'm just, I was so struck by their, uh, by their satins that I've stood there. But I do need to pick up a matte lipstick. But the, they're just so nourishing and creamy and they just feel good. You know that it's, it's doing good for your lips. They feel beautiful on the lips. So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love talking about brands that uh, you may not have heard of or just ones that I'm super passionate about what they stand for and Le Bouche Rouge is just at the top of that um, list. So I'm excited to have these products. They finally arrived and people can experience them. I just think that they're, they're awesome. There are options for the different skin tones and you've got a lot to play with. And um, yeah, this is just, really happy with the finished look. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've picked up anything from La Bouche Rouge. If you, you know, you have uh, any intention on, on picking anything up. And if you have any questions that I can help answer, feel free to ask me any questions about any of the products I've used in the, over the two videos. If I can answer them for you, I will. So yeah, 
this was a really fun one. And as always, if you wanna check out any of our uh, silk twill skinny scarves, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and our other silk linen and uh, velvet hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com and I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.